guys, welcome back to my channel. This is OCD Movie Reviews. My name is Andre Brinker, and today I'm going to review the latest drama western film, Cry Macho. This movie is directed and starred Clint Eastwood. Based on a book with the same name, a one-time radio star and washed-up horse breeder takes a job to bring man's young son home and away from his alcoholic mum. On their journey, the horseman finds redemption for teaching the boy what it means to be a good man. Clean Eastwood, man. 90 years old. And still directing and starring in his own movie. What a legend. Like, as much as I loved him, or people who aren't fans of him, you gotta admit, this guy doesn't want to give up on his dreams. He's a legend. I love Clean Eastwood. Everyone loves Clean Eastwood. He's a legendary director slash actor. He's iconic. Most of his movies are fantastic. And some of his director movies I find very underrated. I liked American Sniper and I loved The Mule that came out a couple of years ago. So, of course, I was excited for Cry Macho because anything that Clint Eastwood directs or stars, I'm excited because of his age and also of how good his acting is. I think he's a great actor and he's a good director. I think he's very underrated as a director. So, obviously, I was into this movie. I was very interested in this movie. So, of course, I watched this movie on HBO Max. And I gotta say, guys, I feel so ashamed saying this, but I really was disappointed by Cry Macho. It's definitely not a movie for me. I know this movie will have its own demographic, but in my opinion, this movie is not for me. I think the thing that I do appreciate from Cry Macho is Clint Eastwood. He is 90 years old and he's still directing and acting and I gotta give props to that. Just what a legend. Most people could retire in that age, but not Clint Eastwood. Clint Eastwood loves his job and he doesn't want to stop. He wants to do it till he dies and I thought that is definitely respectful. I respect you, Clint Eastwood. And Clint Eastwood is good in this film. He's definitely the best quality of this film. He's acting, he's still... Got it. And he definitely looks good for his age. Like, wow. Like, I didn't think he would be 90. He looks like 80. You know? Like, he looks good for his age. He looks healthy. And Clint Eastwood just... You just cannot believe he directed a movie like this at that age. It's amazing. And I think the locations of Cry Macho is really good. I love the look of this film. It definitely is good to see Clint Eastwood in a Western type film again. Because that's what he's most known for. For most Westerns that came out. But unfortunately, I find this movie one of the most boring movies I have seen all year. The chemistry between Clint Eastwood and this boy in the film was... Yeah, it was fine. I guess the guy was pretty, pretty lucky working with such a legend like him. But the kid in the film, honestly, he really annoyed me. I'm sorry, I'm gonna be completely honest. I thought the accent was very, very off. Um, yeah, this kid really annoyed me in the film. <laughs> I'm, I apologize to that actor. I know he tried. And you're the luckiest kid on earth. I would love to work with Clint Eastwood because he's a legend. I'll give that props, but literally this kid really, really annoys me, which really ruins the chemistry to me. And this film is basically a film where nothing really happens. It's mostly Clint Eastwood teaching this kid how to be a better person, and it's basically a boring road trip movie. It's kind of like with The Marksman coming out this year. It has a similar concept. The Marksman has some good qualities to it, and there are parts where I'm like, okay, I wasn't bored for that movie, even though I wasn't a fan of that movie either. This movie honestly makes me think, why are we doing so many of these movies where it's kind of like Logan, you know, an old man that takes care of a kid? It's like, Logan is making these movies, basically. Like, it's like, oh, you've seen Logan, right? Let's do one with Clint Eastwood. Why not? And this movie really is a film where nothing happens. It's like Clint Eastwood just filming himself doing a road trip video, and he just met this kid or something like that. And they're like, let's just make a movie together and add some story to it. That's what this movie felt like. Because this movie kind of felt like nothing really happens. And you really don't get Clint Eastwood's backstory. Because it really wasn't shown much in the film. It just shows pictures. And that is totally it. But the only best thing about this movie is Clint Eastwood himself. I think he's great in the film. And he directed this film very, very well. But overall, guys, I was very, very let down by Crime Macho. It's definitely not a film for me. I think the film has some good acting, except for the kid. I'm really apologizing for the kid in the film. But definitely Cry Macho is one of the most boring movies I've seen all year. And that's very disappointing for Clint Eastwood. I know he can do better than this, because this movie, honestly, if it was his last film, I would be very disappointed. I really feel bad for Clint Eastwood for trying, and I'll give props for him for trying. But like I said, Cry Macho isn't really a film for me. I know there's a demographic out there that will like this film. 
I'm going to give Cry Macho a D+. So guys, that is my review for Cry Macho. Let me know what you think of this film in the comments below. Do you like the film, hate this film, and what is your favourite Clint Eastwood film or performance? Let me know that also in the comments below. Make sure you guys follow me on social media links down below. Facebook, Stardust, Instagram, Twitter, and Letterboxd. Keep contact with me, and make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and notify for my latest movie reviews and other movie-related content. And, have a nice day.